Planet Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system. Suck it, Pluto. Has a surface gravity 38% as strong as Earth. Double the moon and similar to Mars. Low enough that I might be able to do a backflip. Sure, plenty of people can backflip on Earth already, but not me. How can Mercury and Mars have similar surface gravity when Mercury is half the mass? Think of Mercury like a bronze statue of Bruce Lee and Mars like, uh, me. I'm bigger and heavier, but Bruce over here works out and can pull a lot harder relative to his size. This works because Mercury is denser and smaller, so standing on the surface you're actually closer to a denser center of gravity, making up for Mercury's smaller mass. The planet Mercury is barely larger than Earth's moon, and smaller than Jupiter's moon Ganymede. If we were to swap Mercury and the moon around, less observant people may not even notice. Mercury is much denser, however, and has far stronger gravity, so high tide at the beach is going to get really interesting. One day on Mercury doesn't make any sense. It spins on its axis three times for every two orbits of the sun, so one revolution is only 59 Earth days, but a person standing on the surface would see a day-night cycle lasting 176 Earth days, or two full Mercury years. That's going to cause some insomnia. A similar difference between the revolution and a day occurs on Earth too, but it's only a few minutes. One day on Mercury can actually have multiple sunrises. Mercury's orbit around the sun is so uneven, and mixed with its weird 3 to 2 spin to orbit ratio, you can stand in a certain spot on Mercury and watch the sun rise a little bit, set back down, then rise again, go across the sky, set, then rise up a little, then set again, all without taking any drugs. And you would see this even if the radiation from the sun wasn't scrambling your brain. The orbit of Mercury doesn't follow Newton's laws of gravity. This discrepancy led some to believe if another planet existed even closer to the sun, screwing with Mercury's orbit. The fictional planet was named Vulcan by the French astronomer Urbain La Verrière, who put the cart way ahead of the horse in naming something that didn't actually exist. It's not that Mercury is a meandering drunk or anything. It wasn't until Einstein figured out that the massive sun actually bends time itself that we figured out why the orbit is so goofy. Despite being so close to the sun, Mercury isn't all that hot. Well, the equator facing the sun is a toasty 800 Fahrenheit and will definitely cook you to death. The same spot drops to negative 290 Fahrenheit during the night. Some deep polar craters are thought to also contain permanent water ice. Venus is actually hotter. This is because Mercury doesn't actually have an atmosphere to hold in any heat. What small amount of air it does have is created by the burning hot sun lasering atoms off the surface of the planet. Mercury's weak gravity just can't hang on to air like Venus or Earth, so bring your own oxygen. Also some SPF 5 million sunblock. Next stop, Venus. Get your acid-proof clothing ready.